I have a feeling like this girl that whoever left the underwear there, like, how do you leave without your underwear? <laughs> hey, you know, when you just want to dream big, <laughs> you can't let nobody hold you down, man. Don't let nobody stop you from what you're trying to do. What up, though, God Gang? It's your boy Kelvin J, man. I'm back with another video. I'm tired. I'm out here in Mexico, but I got to drop this content. So today we're about to tap into some toxic men and toxic women. Let's get into it. What pisses me off about some women is there's a double standard when it comes to accountability. Y'all will hold a man accountable for what he's done, but when it boils down to you, you can't even hold yourself accountable for how badly your actions have damaged a man. Honestly, I blame some of y'all toxic females for why men are the way they are because you completely fucked this dude's perception of love and trust up that when he actually does come across a good woman, he can't even fully appreciate her because in the back of his mind, he's thinking this is too good to be true. He can't even lean back. Big facts, yo. This is so true, so true on so many levels. You know, a lot of men have been broke. A lot of men have been broken by women. You know what I'm saying? I'm one of them. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I gladly admit it. I'm one of them. You know what I'm saying? I'm way more savage with women now than I ever was when I was younger. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I wish I was more savage when I was younger, but you live and you learn. But this is very true what she's saying, yo. On his own intuition, because that same intuition failed him into believing that you were a good person, that you were safe, that he can open up to you and he can trust you when in reality he couldn't. And you know what he ends up doing? He ends up self-sabotaging and ends up fucking up a good situation with a good woman that did nothing to him and had no bad intentions towards him. Now, don't get it fucking twisted either. I'm not sitting here saying that a damaged man should get involved with the female. You should not get involved with anybody if you are not healed. Because let me tell you, we are not Bob the Builder. I don't know about that part. I don't be out here self-sabotaging. Uh, I ain't with her. I ain't tracking her with that part. But the other part, I'm with you. I can't fucking fix you. You need to fix yourself. You need to heal yourself from that damaged situation that you were in. Good women should not have to sit there and pick up some fucking pieces that we didn't break. We should not have to put you together when we didn't take you apart. I'm just saying, toxic Same women should take accountability of the bullshit they the do. Other way. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat this shit. I blame you toxic bitches for why men are the way they are now. You ruined it for us good women because you done traumatized this man so badly that by the time he gets to a good woman who is not gonna hurt him or put him- Big facts. The women that's out here being crazy, jacking up the, the, the decent men, they ruining it, y'all. For y'all, all y'all good, decent women out there, it's, get, it's getting ruined. It's getting straight ruined. The selection is getting smaller and smaller the further we go into the future, man. So Confusion or play games with him. He can't even fully appreciate the blessing that God single-handedly put in his life. He can't even trust his own judgment. So he ends up self-sabotaging that entire relationship with this good woman in front of him because of how badly you fucked this dude up. And he ends up hurting her. Now, don't get it twisted. I hold you men accountable. If you are still unhealed and you're still broken by the woman from your past do not involve yourself with another woman don't do it because baby i can love you past your pain but i cannot fix you i can't fix something i didn't break i'm not bob the builder and i sure as hell i'm not god i can't feel the peace that's broken within you you have to do that within yourself but still women we are supposed to be the prize we are supposed to be the wives stop acting like trash and wonder why these men don't respect us you know what girls do and this is a this is to all you toxic girls out there because they know what they do They'll take like an earring, a scrunchie, something like that, and they'll strategically like put it in the room, almost like a Big territory bags. marking Big mm -hmm. kind of thing. Dude, I've had girls so petty, they'll try to leave hair strands. They'll leave hair strands everywhere. You know, I don't know, try to tuck some panties somewhere or, you know, like you said, a scrunchie or something like that, man. Come on now. That's, that's just ridiculous. That's ridiculous. It's just silly games at that point. You know what I'm saying? If you're doing that in a relationship, y'all clearly need to just go y'all separate ways because that's just petty and silly. I can't recall one period ever in my life where I went over a woman's house and I'm like, and I think to do, let me just leave a little something here on purpose without her knowing so that way she can get caught up by some other dude that she might be bringing in there. Like, it's, it's not that serious. Yeah. And I have a feeling like this girl that whoever left the underwear there, like, how do you leave without your underwear? <laughs> right. So all the guys complaining, oh my God, my girl's toxic. My girl's a toxica. She's always checking my phone. She always wants to know where I'm at. You ever stopped and think that maybe you made her feel that way or someone else made her feel that way? It's not their fault. It's our fault. 
I'm sorry to put it this way, but we like train our girlfriends. It's like <laughs> a kid or a dog. What is he talking about? It's not their fault. It's our fault. Yo, if I never did anything wrong to make my woman feel that way, then it's her fault. How is it my fault? Because she got messed up in the past by some other dude. You know what I'm saying? When you join a new relationship, you got to come into that new relationship fresh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can apply certain things that you've learned from past relationships, but you don't take things against the new person. You know what I'm saying? When I'm new, newly dating somebody, I'm not going to be just hurt and messed up because of somebody in the past who who jacked me up or whatever like that don't that don't even make sense where is this guy going what is this guy oh, when you about? start screaming and it's gonna be scared of you the next time they see you it's a change she got cheated on once she's gonna think the next guy's gonna cheat on her it's up to us to make that girl feel special not insecure make her feel beautiful and make her trust you trust is number one in a relationship so stop screaming at your girlfriends for being toxic Fix yourself. No, who is this dude? <laughs> who is this guy, yo? I'm dead. No, no, definitely no. I'm gonna be myself in a relationship. Simple as that. She either gonna accept it or she not. I'm not about to be jumping through hoops, going above and beyond to prove to her that she's beautiful and this and stuff. Most of these women crazy anyway. They they make up addiction, addicted addicts and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? I like my woman to be natural beauty just like that but you could tell a woman all day long that you look beautiful naturally this that and the other and she's still gonna do what she want to do she's still gonna be embracing all this crazy toxic makeup weaves and all kind of extra stuff out here so you can't really like convince her that she's beautiful and prove her she has to see it from within you know what i'm saying that's where god comes into play man that's why god being in tune with god is so important because when you have god you understand those things I don't know what this dude talking about, man. We all finna sit in here and wait for you to tell us how a man can trap a woman. Oh, honey, he thought he ate this one up. Sir, a man can trap a woman any way a woman can trap a man, especially with kids. Y'all, there are some low self-esteem, bottom-of-the-barrel-ass men out here who will see a woman, be attracted to her for her light, her or her potential. Know that he will never rise to that occasion. So instead of trying to do so, he will make this woman think he loves her. Now she has his child. And once that happens, he no longer has to work to meet her at her level because now he's tied to her no matter what. And a lot of men feel like women lose their value once they have children. And honey, that's exactly what those type of men want. They want you to lose your value to other men men because they're not willing to do what it takes to have you so they damn sure don't want nobody else to get your ass i mean y'all see what's going on with safari and erica mena right before she started having that man's kids baby it was bliss but right after the switch up was real baby that's a trap mm -hmm. i wouldn't say it's a trap that end part but definitely i would say that there are some men out there who would finesse you this that and the other have a baby with you and then now you you got that tie for the rest of your life because y'all got the kid but you know whether his actual intention was to trap you or not is a little iffy but i'm not gonna say it don't go both ways i'm pretty sure there's people out there trying to trap women by having kids with them so i definitely think that's real but you know toxic women destroy good men too but we barely talk about that the question of the day is I, you gotta finish the line. I hate guys that are nice. So you like me toxic, like toxic, they gotta be to toxic? Yeah, toxic as fuck. Why, why females be loving that toxic shit? Like why? Well, I don't know because nobody wants a guy who actually likes them. Like what the fuck? You're a victim. Oh, oh. Mm. <laughs> Big facts, man. Like I said all the time, like many cases, women will say they want nice guys, but most of the time they don't. They like a man who's one. You got to be able to tell a woman no. You got to be able to tell a woman no. Don't just be a yes man. You know what I'm saying? Don't be running around just yes this, yes that, everything yes yes yes. You got to be able to say no and shut that down. You know what I'm saying? That's number one. But yeah, women like a man that's 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 dominant, controlling, who gon' you know got a little toxicness to him. You know what I'm saying? And and what some people consider toxic isn't necessarily toxic all the time. You know what I mean? Like I said, just telling a woman no, you know what I'm saying? Not being a yes man. Some people consider that toxic, but that's really just being a man. You know what I mean? So it's, it's crazy. But and then as far as being like a nice guy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you want to be a genuine and decent man, you know what I'm saying? But you don't want to be too nice where it's just you trying to please and, and, and you know, trying to please to every need and every cadence. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just got to back up like, no, nah, this is what it's going to be. 
boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? Like me myself, I'm strict, man. Like I'm real strict. It's probably why I'm single right now, cause a lot of these modern women nowadays, they not used to having a strict man. You know what I'm saying? They used to having pushovers, someone you can control and all that. And you ain't gonna control me. But yeah, that's a wrap for this video, man. We out here. Plow the Carmen, man. Let's get it. Let's go. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Leave a comment. Hit that notification bell. Let's get it. Let's go. Yeah, big gremlin. About to get my groove on. Choppers too long. Big luggage, no you haul Touched a few souls. Got them living like Duval. Angel stand too tall. Mental thoughts loot all. BLM. Who they be? Gang banging. ALM. Who we be? God slanging. Big stepper. Big foot, black pepper. James 4-7. Big storm. My weather.